There's only three days now until the Dubai Air Show, and in the run-up, we've been taking a look at the different facets of the UAE's aviation industry. Today, we're looking at making parts of aeroplanes. And in the next 20 years, the commercial aircraft manufacturing industry has a projected market value of over $4 trillion. One company in Alain is aiming, in less than a decade, to be one of the top three aerostructure manufacturers in the world, competing with Seattle and Toulouse. I met with the CEO of Strata who explained how they plan to do that. In 2008, this was a desert and Strata manufacturing was just a blueprint. But two years later, the factory had made and shipped its first aeroplane part. The speed at which it did so was unprecedented. That is not normal and that would have not been possible had it not been for my predecessor and for a key partner such as Airbus. This was very important to, for you to actually build the plant, qualify sections of it while you're continuing to build the remaining parts of the plant and make sure that within 12 months you ship out your first product. And so from humble beginnings, Bada and his crew are hoping to grow Strata to compete with the world's biggest manufacturing hubs and to do so in less than a decade. That is 100% achievable. al Ain today is the hub. Uh, that is embracing aerospace, that is inviting various different types of aerospace businesses, whether it is MRO, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's the assembly of an, you know, a UAV aircraft. Uh, this is all happening in Al Ain. We are positioning anchor projects such as Strata to grow and then obviously invite the supply chain to relocate nearby. So we see Al Ain by 2030 to be a flourishing hub that is on par with, uh, with growing hubs such as Toulouse and Seattle. At the moment, Strata focuses on making primary structures that go on the wings of an aeroplane. They've even fitted an Etihad Airbus with ailerons. There was an interesting uh, slide that uh, one of the OEMs had shared with us, and it showed the total value of business that is generated within this part of the world. And when you compare that with the amount of value that is actually you know, created or in terms of uh, manufactured parts that is made in this part of the world, there is an a, a, a imbalance. And what the OEMs are trying to do, they're trying to create a little bit more balance by shifting some of that work closer to where the business is. And it creates, obviously, jobs, opportunities. So it's not only about buying aircrafts, but it's more of an economic play. Aeroplanes are traditionally made of metal, but more and more the trend is towards composite material, which is what they work with here. And while they focus now on primary or more simple structures, the key to Strata's growth is developing the type of parts they work on. Strata was created to become a top three manufacturing facility by 2020. To become a top three manufacturing facility, you have to get into complex parts, into strategic parts of an aircraft and participate with the aircraft and actually designing that part for them, such that if the aircraft is not sold, you don't get paid. You become a risk sharing partner with the aircraft to make sure that the success of the aircraft and the success of that part on that aircraft are Con, you know, convince the, the airline that that is the right product for them. We want to focus on wing movables and we want to focus on the empennage, the tail of an aircraft. So we will see that we will try to capitalize and leverage all our learnings into those main two areas of an aircraft. Strata is part of the Nebras Alain Aerospace Park that will be finished in 2020. It's all part of a plan to diversify the Emirates economy away from agriculture and the UAE's economy away from hydrocarbons. And one of the most crucial parts of Strata is this, the workforce. The people of Alain who have embraced working in the factory so wholeheartedly. People assume sustainability is all about just generating revenues and the financial figures. The sustainability part is to make sure that the knowledge transfer is withheld within the UAE. And what we've been very fortunate about is that a lot of UAE nationals, specifically women from Al Ain, have embraced this business to be part of a national objective or a national vision for the country. And uh, it is not easy, it is a little bit difficult. There is a manufacturing culture that has to be uh, uh, welcomed into this part of the world. However, I can tell you that each one of them has taken this as a, um, as a, uh, as a pride and uh, a duty towards uh, giving back to, the, to their own country. And they've been doing fantastically well. I have women that have grown from being simple operators to team leaders. I have women that are growing to become you know, quality experts. 
By 2015, Strata want to have a workforce that is 50% Emirati, a workforce that will continue building parts of aeroplanes to ship to the world from the UAE's oasis city.